it's time to customize your vim if you watch um, this this series you might have seen that my vim looks kind of different from yours that there, there are some more infos and line numbers and whatnot and this is because my vim is configured with uh, a vim settings file which is called the .vimrc file and this is yeah kind of important because you can customize the editor just how you like it so where is this file and what can you do and um, we will I will show you how, how you can fi find this just start vim hit uh, colon echo dollar sign my vimrc and it will show you the path where your vimrc is located so in another tab um, I am where my uh, vimrc is, is located it's in my home folder as you have seen but it's in the excuse me in the dot files folder and um, it's some link there so let's see vim.vimrc it's completely empty this is because my vim um, will probably look like yours at the moment so let's quit again I've renamed my original vim file a uh, vimrc file vimrc underscore and here you can see this is my vimrc file and here are a dozen settings for different plugins vim plugins you can install and just um, yeah a whole, whole lot of stuff um, key mappings how you how I like it and and so on and so on so um, it's it's I think I don't think it's a good idea if you go over every little setting um, because it will just be too much but I think a good point a good starting point is to um, um, just copy a few a few things over to your vim rc file reload it and see what what has changed and if you like that change so i will link my vim rc file in the description you can go on github and look at it and can uh, um, can copy over a few of the settings so um, basically I have pretty much all of it um, commented so you, you can see um, what the different settings are doing um, probably it's good if you don't add any of this this bundle stuff because this is to handle plugins and I think at the beginning you don't need any plugins it's okay if you just start out using Vim um, without plugins, just the bare, bare, bare bones stuff. Uh, that's how I've got started. So you know um, what's there from the beginning. You know how to handle it, and then you can add plugins um, where you need them. I don't think it's a good idea to copy a whole WimRC file with plugins and key mappings and key bindings and um, so much visual stuff. It's the the great thing about Vim is you can customize it how you want not how I want or someone said in a blog post it's just it's up to you how you, how you customize it and um, the good thing is um, to look at other Vim file WimRC files just see what is possible try it out and um, see what you like and I think it's a good idea to start with the visual section and um, copy um, just a few things and see what what has changed so um, to, to see what has changed you normally had to quit and start Vim again but there is a, an easy way to reload the Vim RC file while you are still in Vim so let's say we we are in um, in our Vim RC file and at syntax enable which will enable syntax highlighting. I've saved the file, nothing changes, but we can hit colon so for source and then my vimrc. And you, you see the vimrc file is reloaded and now we have syntax highlighting enabled. This is a setting in the vim file. Um, yeah, and now you can go ahead and add more 
settings and then do the source stuff again, hit enter and you can see the changes taking place right now. So I think this is it for now. I, I will link the, the file in the description. Just um, poke around, um, see which settings are there. If you have specific questions, please ask me in the description or hit me up on Twitter at underscore Martin Wolf. And um, I think I will describe how you can install plugins and maybe show you how to get a color scheme for your Vim and um, a few of these things or maybe uh, show a few um, yeah, good key bindings which pretty much everyone is using and I will talk about the leader key which is important in Vim but we will get to it. The important stuff, uh, important part for this video is, is you know there's a Vim RC file, you know where you can find it, you know, you know how you can reload it and um, now we can go out on GitHub on, on the internet and um, just find settings, um, try them out and customize the Vim how you like it. And that's, that's really important. So that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.